Hey guys, what's going on? This is Josh from Spotted Yours. Behind me, you can see the Toreg, the TDI Toreg, and the trailer. So uh, we just drove 800 miles straight to get to Mannheim, San Francisco. I uh, bought a car the other day. Uh, hopefully it turns out. Uh, I feel like that's always the story, but uh, I got a car on the auction. It must have showed up at the auction late because it didn't have any pictures, no condition report. The only thing I could go off of is literally watching it on the camera go across the auction block. But there were a couple of people interested and in bidding on the car at the auction. So, I mean, if they're bidding on it, it's probably pretty good. So, uh, here we are, like I said, San Francisco Mannheim. Gonna go in, pick up the car. We're all going to see how this car is at the same time. Um, I've done this a couple of times. Last time I flew here, um, pick up a car. This time I have the trailer, so I mean, if the car's not great, we just put on the trailer and uh, tug it home. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna walk through here and I'll meet you guys inside. Okay guys, we are on the inside. So like I said, this uh, literally had zero info it uh, everything uh, works out so part of the reason to get a car like this is to try and get a deal um, so much of the stuff sells over value um, so if you can find something that I don't know that may not have the best pictures or maybe it doesn't have condition report that kind of stuff sometimes it helps um, now it might be a task finding this thing well no it should be around here I think I see it so uh, the other thing is this car has a really good Carfax all service at the dealer actually it was at the dealer just a week or two ago which could be a good thing it could be a bad thing you know if someone takes it in and uh, they say hey you got some major problem going on they may just trade it in somewhere else so anyway I'm pretty sure yep this is it right here first look so here it is so it is a 2009 Tiguan oh that door has seen uh, better days. So the door is a little crinkled. Dang, that stinks. Oh! The back hatch is a little crinkled. Okay, so unfortunately, this would be the benefit to uh, having a condition report. You see stuff like that on the condition report. Um, otherwise, this is a 2009. It only has 71,000 miles on it. And it is the four motion. So everything else lines up pretty good. And like I said, I'm seeing this for the first time. That you guys are. It does have the big sunroof which is nice. The weird thing is that it's just cloth seats. I could have sworn the four, the, uh, the four motions were only the SE models, which I thought only came with leather seats. Okay, so for the guy who uh, was very upset over the wind noise on uh, one of my videos, I'm sorry, this is gonna have wind noise as well. If, uh, if that guy ends up watching this, I'm just, uh, I'm sorry in advance. I'm sure we'll hear about uh, how much you hate the wind noise in the comments. So let's look under the hood.
I mean, it looks really clean. It looks clean on the inside. Clean. Now, these Tiguans are notorious for leaking oil. The PCV valve goes bad. People don't notice. They drive with the check engine light. It blows out the rear main seal. It does a couple of things. So, these are known for having oil problems. Or at least leaking oil. So, let's take a look. doesn't look bad. It actually looks... Okay, it actually looks really clean under there. Let's, uh, moment of truth, let's start it. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so there you go, no check engine lights. All of this is kind of a good sign. Trip 2,000 miles, it's more than a half a tank. It's hard to really know, but uh, if, uh, so this was, it looked like it was traded in at a dealership that sells kind of like nicer stuff. Um, so it seems like they just got this and decided to send it to the auction probably because of the door the damage to it um which really is too bad um but at the same time i got this well below value um i bought this for three thousand nine hundred um which is about what a lot so i've been trying to get one of these tiguans for a while a while meaning since I sold the GLI sold the GLI a week ago so uh, I've been trying to get a Tiguan ever since and um, anyway a lot of the ones that I was looking at had like a hunt over a hundred thousand miles 110 115 something in that range and they were all selling for three three nine four thousand everything that was actually for motion all-wheel drive was going over the value as well so this was definitely a steal unfortunately and uh, fortunately we got some body damage so yeah there's not much you can do I mean we might be able to get behind it um, once this is cleaned up and this is all wiped off it seems like something sticker or something was on there um, if we clean that off and this back maybe we can pop this out a little bit to make it just a little bit better it's never gonna look perfect um, but 71,000 miles for motion T1 it's not too bad the other thing I, I noticed was the uh, pretty common for these panoramic panoramic sunroofs for the shade to uh, rip out so that's kind of too bad I'm trying to see now so we had one of these recently that had like a two-tone it was like brown and a black this just looks to be all black which is big deal but yeah it all looks good tires seem to be okay they're okay they're not great but uh, yeah they're okay so uh, let me pull this out well I can let's drive it over Contraband mats in here. Okay. Yeah, so I came pretty close to uh, flying out here and just driving this back. And I actually was planning on doing that. Um, just making sure it's shifting okay at least 
Um, so I was planning on doing that, but because it was such a wild card, um, I decided just to uh, to drive out here. Not used to these brakes, but so this is kind of this is a San Francisco is a cool location. All these California auctions have a lot more um, it's just interesting to see the different cars that they have at these auctions I'm trying to just <laughs> grab the car and go but uh, how about this sitting in the back next to the boat um, but yeah, anyway, oh, this was actually, so if anyone else has watched, so we picked up another um, Tiguan a couple months back, and in that video, I had just watched the VIN wiki on, some guy was talking about this car, of it being kind of a weird thing, anyway, it's, it's a Cadillac, but I don't even know the whole story, anyway, in that video, we drove by, and I said, oh, hey, there's that car. Well, guess what? It's still here, months later, but it's in this, uh, this like reject section. But anyway, so looks pretty good. Everything seems, besides the damage, that's really too bad. Um, you know, to have that there. I'll have, we'll just have to see, we'll just have to deal with it and see what happens. Um, because this is so low miles for the year and for motion, I'm sure be able to find someone who doesn't care as much about it. So anyway, let me uh, check out here and then I'll check back in with you guys when we're loading it up. Okay guys, so there it is, all loaded up. It's a good looking car. Looks good on this side until here and then it looks good on this side <laughs> except for the door. So I mean you could replace the door and uh, it wouldn't be as bad. But like I said maybe when we clean it up and get rid of get rid of these marks it won't seem as big because it is kind of right here. Not here, not here, but here. So, uh, so yeah, looks good. I'm happy with it for how much I paid for it. Um, and uh, everything inside looks good. Underneath is really kind of the bigger thing. If it's covered in oil, then you've got a problem. But this looks like it was really maintained well. Carfax looks really good. Just unfortunately, I don't understand someone who, who, uh, spends all that money to uh, maintain a car at the dealership and then they've got other stuff. So there are some, it's like a scuff here too. But I guess accidents happen, you can't control everything. So uh, who knows. So that's the Tiguan, that's what we're picking up. Now another part of this video I wanted to focus on was this TDI. So this is the first real long distance tow with this TDI. Now I've already driven the 800 miles to get here and I will say this is comfortable. Compared to the V8, I mean, this has just got the power. Uh, so it didn't matter what speed. Now obviously I had just the trailer, didn't have a car, but uh, it didn't matter what speed I was traveling at. This would stay in sixth gear and just pull just uh, maintain whatever speed I wanted to maintain. So uh, it did really well on the way here, no problems. Wouldn't even think twice about, you know, driving this. And uh, now we've got a bit of a load. So we'll see how it is on the way back. Now, I'm in San Francisco. To get back to Utah, you cut straight through Nevada on I-80, pretty much, well, the whole time you're on I-80. But to get from California up to like, I don't know, Reno, it, you're literally, I mean, I think it's 100 miles incline. So uh, it's not like crazy steep. I mean, there might be a couple areas where it's steep, 
but uh, the point is the distance like literally I think a hundred miles is uphill so on the way here it was all downhill but now we're going up the opposite way with a car and we're going to be traveling uphill I've actually done it before with the travel trailer it's not bad but anyway the point is we will really see how this TDI does so far this thing's awesome the head unit being able to use the SD card navigation all that stuff is uh, super nice it's super nice inside it's comfortable it's quiet okay guys hopefully you can see we've kind of hit the uh, mountain the incline part um, it's a super it's actually pretty narrow it's only two lanes each side a lot of times not I haven't run into any right now but a lot of times you run into trucks that kind of slow things down just because it's only two lanes especially in this first part it kind of opens up but uh, it's not a straight incline so pretty much for the next 90 miles it's like going up this huge mountain so I've got it set at 65 and I'm just shifting it manually just so I can control the shifts so far so good the trucks have started not sure if you can see that but the trucks have started to put on their flasher so it's definitely starting to get steep but this is kind of how it'll be where it's like you go up a hill and then you come back down and then go up another one but uh, we definitely I mean San Francisco is pretty much zero right it's right next to the it's right on the beach so it's zero elevation we just passed a sign that said 2,000 feet elevation and uh, we still have a lot to go but anyway everything's going good 82 degrees out so it's a little cooler I don't anticipate having any sort of temperature issues or power issues. Anyway, um, anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I'm not going to try and record too much of this. And I also need to, to be able to pay attention to uh, what's going on. So anyway, uh, that's it. This TDI is awesome. It's winning in every category. It's definitely uh, superior to the V8. That's pretty much a, a given. Now, uh, I'd love to get my hands on a V10 to really see how that does. Because I'm sure that's even, even above this one. But... Uh, maintaining one of those things might kind of ruin it um, but maybe not I've heard good things I've heard bad things but uh, anyway thanks guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time